Hello again, third grade. Today we're going to work on lesson 9-2, and in this lesson we're still working on adding, but today we're going to apply the properties of regrouping. So we're going to regroup. And remember, regrouping means when you're changing out one group that you have into another group once you've made groups of tens. So if you have 10 ones, you're going to switch them out for one group of 10. Or if you have uh, 10 tens, you'll switch them out for one group of 100. Now we're going to look at more examples of this right now in our video lesson and in our guided practice and notes. How can you use regrouping to solve addition problems? Jason's family drove from Ocala to Miami. They drove 139 miles in the morning and 187 miles in the afternoon. How far did Jason's family drive? Find 139 plus 187. 139 plus 187 is about 100 plus 200 or 300 miles. Here is one way to record partial sums. How far did Jason's family drive? Select your answer. So here we can see that they added the hundreds, that gave them 200. They added the tens, 30 plus 80 gave them 110. And they added the ones, which gave them 16. So 200 plus 110, that's 310. 310 plus 16 is 326. Jason's family drove 326 miles. 300 is close to 326, so the sum is reasonable. Here is another way. Write the partial sums. Since there are more than nine ones, regroup the ones. When you regroup, you name a whole number in a different way. 16 ones equals 110 plus 6 ones. Since there are more than 9 tens, regroup the tens. 12 tens equals 100 plus 2 tens. 139 plus 187 equals 326. Jason's family drove 326 miles. Okay, so what they did here was they were switching out whenever they made more than a group of 10 or they made a group of 10 or greater with their ones, they switched it out. So instead of having 16 ones, they put six ones and they took a group and added it over to the tens. Now with the tens, they had 12 tens. So they switched that out as well. They regrouped it. Instead of 12 tens, they took out 10 of them and made them a group of 100 and kept the two tens. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our notes and our guided practice for this lesson. Now, I know that their table was a little bit confusing looking. You don't necessarily have to use it. You do need to know, however, how to switch out uh, when you're using things like your base 10 blocks and how to regroup. So when, how can you use regrouping to help you solve these problems? Well, first we need to understand what regrouping is. So regrouping is when you change the way that you group or name a whole number, like switching out 10 tens for 100 or 10 ones for a group of 10. It's making groups of tens, hundreds, and so on. So here's my first example for you. I wrote 172 plus 534. I want to find the sum. So I drew out 172 and I drew out 534. Now, over here, I can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. And here I have seven tens and three more tens, so that's 10 tens. And I had six ones. So since I have 10 tens, I'm going to take these 10 tens and switch them out for a group of 100 instead, because 10 times 10 is 100. So now I had my 600 plus my 100 that I regrouped from 10 tens plus my six ones gave me an answer of 706. So if I were to stack and add, 
and use regrouping and carrying over. Two plus four is six. Seven plus three is 10. So I put my zero from my 10 over here. And the one I carry over here, one plus five, one plus one is two plus five is seven, which gave me 706. So regrouping is basically just switching out your pieces for the next group up. So 10 of your tens, you can switch those for a group of 100. 10 of your ones, you can switch them for one of your 10 rods. Let's take a look at another example. Now the numbers I have here are 385 plus 294. So I drew my 380 and five, and then I drew my 290 and four. Now here I can see that I have five hundreds altogether. I have 17 tens and I have nine ones. So I'm going to regroup 10 of those tens from the 17 into an 100. So you can see over here, I took out 10 of them and I turned it into 100. So now I had an extra 100. I only had seven tens and I had nine ones. So over here, five plus four, that's my nine ones. Nine plus eight was 17 tens. So I kept seven of those tens and I moved the other group of 10 that I pulled out into the hundred. So one plus three plus two gave me six. That's how I got to 679. So one, two, three, four, five, 600, seven tens and nine ones. Now, if you're already comfortable with adding and regrouping and carrying over, you're already ahead of the game. This is just meant to show you an alternate strategy to show you how to add if you need to do it a different way or to understand why you do it the way that we do it. All right, let's take a look at our guided practice. When adding three digit numbers, how do you know if you need to regroup? Well, we know we need to regroup if any of the place values adds up to a group of 10 or more. That tells us that we need to regroup. Number two says to add 546 to plus 327. Would you need to regroup? So the answer here is yes, because six plus seven is going to give us 13. Since 13 is 10 or more, we need to regroup the 13 ones into a group of 10 and three more ones before we can continue with the addition. Now for numbers three and four, we're going to be doing the addition and I wrote down on the side the regrouping that we did so that you know where that happened. So eight plus nine is 17. So I put my seven over here and my group of 10 from the 17, I carried it over into the tens place. So that's how I regrouped it into the tens. One plus three is four, plus two more is six, that's six tens, and then five plus four is nine. Now for number four, over here, we're going to start again in the ones place, five plus eight is 13. So I'm going to keep my three ones and carry my 10 over onto the 10 side. One plus one is two, plus nine is 11. So 11 tens, so I'm going to keep one of those tens and carry over the 100. The, group, the 10 group of 10s that we moved over here. So 11, I'm going to put the one here and carry the other one here. Four plus one is five, plus another one is six. So one 10, uh, five plus eight is 13. So we, re we regroup the 13 ones into three ones and one 10. And then we had one 10 plus one 10 plus nine tens gave us 11 tens. So we regrouped those 11 tens into 100 and one group of 10. And then we were able to finish our addition. So again, this is the same kind of adding that we've been doing. This just helps you to understand why and how we regroup different numbers. If you have any questions on any of this, let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Take care, bye-bye.